guests were fan favorites on American Idol, and now they're getting ready to perform at a big New Year's Eve celebration at the Hilton in Universal City. Frenchie Davis made it to the semifinals of American Idol back in 2002. You're laughing. Is that an old picture or what? I love that picture. Oh, you do Thank like it. You. Okay. <laughs> she was also on The Voice. I remember this. She has starred on Broadway, and her debut album, Finally, Frenchie, is set for release in the spring of 2016. And David Hernandez was an American Idol finalist back in 2000. Do you like this picture? He's laughing at the photo. All right, we, we all have that. We know we back. love our. You know what? We're we're not always lucky to see a picture where we're like, you know what? Right. They picked a good okay. picture. Okay. All right, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish the intro. No, we okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Right. His most recent <laughs> single, "What You Do," is produced by Prince Board. I know Prince. Black Eyed Peas. Yes. yes. And he has a new single, "Beautiful Do," in early 2016. Welcome, Frenchie David. Nice to see you guys. Nice to, nice to see, see you. Too. Yeah. You're beautiful. Yes. I mean, you're beautiful. Yes. Oh, we are going to be beautiful. Right. Everyone's, right. Saying, right. everyone's been asking all day, are, where are you going tonight? You know, oh. Is this obvious. the New Year's attire? No, no, no. no, no. no. The costume no. changes will be taking place very shortly. Yes. How fun. Yes. Yeah. She will um, be wearing the dress and the heels. Yes. I'm, 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 so, I'm assuming. Because <laughs> I won't. So, so this is, let's just want to ask you about American Idol just because it is the last year. And your thoughts on American Idol coming? To a close here. Was was it time? Yeah, I think yeah. so. It was. It, it's it had was, a good run. It had been time. Yeah, it had been time. So, I think you know, um, taking my specific experience into consideration, mm -hmm. I feel great knowing that Idol's going off the air and I'm still singing. Mm -hmm. So everything worked out the way it was supposed to. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but it was a good. It was good for you. It's been an incredible experience since I've been working since 2008. Um, since I got off the show touring with various companies, third album now, so I have nothing but positive things to say about it. I'm glad that that chapter's over and mm -hmm. we can keep, like she said, I'm still singing. Yeah. Um, and I think it's time, you know, the mm -hmm. for it to... I, I, I think that, that label, American Idol, though, it says something to people. It says, wow, I was on a TV show, I was noticed, I was national. Yeah. I feel like I keep seeing you pop up for it everywhere. Oh my gosh, there she is on Rent! There she is on The Voice! <laughs> you have been nonstop, too. Thank you. I, I feel really lucky to have... It's been like almost 14 years mm -hmm. since I was on Idol, and I've been in like almost 10 Broadway shows now, and I'm almost finished with my album. And I heard myself, I heard my song on the radio for the first time ever. What, what was, was that, that like? Uh, it was, it was like I don't know if you've seen that movie, The Five Heartbeats, but there's a scene in the movie where they wake up. Could, Hearing their song on the radio and the whole house freaks out. So cool. <laughs> it was kind of like so that cool. because you know I had, you know I I felt really lucky to have been on Broadway and you know be able to maintain you know constant work yeah. as a performer, mm -hmm. and you know I'm I was able to continue my education, singing, paid for my bachelor's degree. I'm in the last year of my master's now, so awesome. you know. But so even even though you were taken off of Idol. Did it put you on the national map? Um, one could say that, but I wish that my experience on Idol had put me on the na on the map for my talent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it was not a particularly pleasant experience, but it's one I'm thankful for nonetheless because I'm the woman I am today because of it. Mm -hmm. I think there's a truth in which I've been blessed to be able to live my life, and I don't think that I would perhaps be able to live my life in that truth had I not already experienced public shaming uh, as a result of it's part the of way story. Idol mm -hmm. um, dealt with me. I hope that somewhere in there somebody's got some integrity and they say we owe Frenchie an apology. I will gladly accept it. <laughs> um, I but you know, I'm thankful. And you're here but yeah, and mm -hmm. it is part of my story and I don't shy away from it at all. I never have and you know, I'm like I said, I'm thankful for every experience, bad and good, because I'm, you know, I feel pretty fantastic about the woman I've evolved into and, and all of those experiences gonna contribute to it. And tonight's going to be amazing. Great. 1987 just exploded yeah, all over my oh, spirit. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Belinda Carlisle's there, Frenchie Davis, <laughs> myself. We have Rogelio Douglas Jr., Maya, Jake Simpson. We're all going to put on an incredible show for you guys and for yeah. everybody that's coming. So is it original music? That you, it's a mixture. It's, it's a, a mixture. mixture. We're totally yeah. mixing. Um, 
because that's like what our hearts and souls are right. calling for is our have, own stuff. It's that like we write. some of our original stuff. We and have not worked together yet. No, right we're now. working Ooh. on that. But we're working. You guys on were that. holding hands coming into this place. I know. You were seeing each other. I was thinking something's going on here. I don't know. We don't. We we kind of share like a similar bond because we had these experiences on Idol that weren't the greatest, the story wise, that were spun out of control, and so we can connect with each other like that. I remember watching her on TV, and then that happened to me. Similar story happened to me, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, God, I wish I knew her at this moment. <laughs> I didn't meet her until, like, few like years just, later. You know, it's a TV show, so people are kind of like, I don't know, they yeah. have to sort of create the drama. Well, you or can, you know, they turn I mean, things in, in ways that are beneficial for them. And, absolutely. And, you know, I mean, the voice wasn't exempt from it either, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. I think it's just the formula of reality TV. Yeah. It's, there's not a lot that's very real about it. That's true. But, but the talent... To is real. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of great singers. I mean, I made lifelong friends. I mean, Ruben Stuttered and Clay, they're still two of my best friends. Wow. They, yeah. My Broadway debut, they were front row. Okay, so you let know. me ask you this. You perform tonight, and then do you party throughout the night? Oh, uh, yes, I, of course. It's New Year's Eve. Sorta. Look at them. I don't... <laughs> I see. I don't like to mix partying with working. Mm -hmm. That's but the only thing. Done. But after no, I'm afterwards. done, oh, after I'm yeah. done singing, I mean, hopefully there'll be like, you know, I'm cleansing Leftover right now, champagne. but maybe that, maybe red wine well, tonight. Oh, but you go ahead and once do that. Once the cleanse I'm, is I'm over, I'm all time. the way back <laughs> on the bike. <bucket. laughs> I'm all the way back. Me. That would be me. I will be on stage cheersing. All right. If you're still looking for something to do, yes, join us. French Check and David, out. part of the New Year's Eve pop rock and celebration tonight with Belinda Carlisle at yes. the Hilton in Universal City. You can get your tickets online. At, okay, it's Chris Isaacson Presents yes. com or TicketWeb.com. That's pretty easy. TicketWeb. All right. Thank you guys. Thank, Good you. To Thank you. Thank you guys. Good to see you too. Happy New Good Year. Thank you both. <laughs>